fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 fight. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to break the fight into a closer distance. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, misses with the jab. Another straight jab. Both guys really throwing with authority. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Under three minutes remain in round one. Just misses there with the left. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Caught that kick there. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Just out of range with that right hook. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Good punch land. Beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Able to land a combination there. Seconds now to go around. And they separate. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Lee. Nice. Back and forth we go. Right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High Ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing eye kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Just misses with that one. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. the right hand there. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches and punches? Punches and punches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. 
We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Ooh, big shot land. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Nice leg kick. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Oh, huge kick. Oh! He's looking for that left hand. Not there. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. What a punch. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Big punch lands through the middle. Head kick lands. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take those. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Looping left hand misses the target. Nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Pretty significant well to the left side. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Beautiful punch. Try to establish that jab. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Just a slip there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. That was a nice strike. And he caught the kick. So there it is. Longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Unable to connect with a right hook. Great punch lands with so much power. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. And 
Nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Big head kick lands. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Nice loop with punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. The overhand, now he's hooked. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, and the night that one makes it right on the spot. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. And he is back up to his feet. Just missed with the left there. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, a huge block there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Under a minute now to go in this one. Big kick. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. That's the biggest shot of the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them have really picked it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance. It's one of the best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Great punch. Hands higher, hands higher. 
blocks the shot. with that jab attempt there. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Punch is blocked. Nice strike. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm gonna take one to give one. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, big punch land. Under two minutes now to decide this one. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Big body kick land. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Butter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges score cards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee!